YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, back in Total War Rome 2 on the uh, DEI mod with the Carthage campaign. We're going to be moving on from where we left off, which we are getting pretty close to some fun stuff. Hannibal is is very nearly ready to take control of all of Britannia, and then we just need to move over to, I guess, what is modern-day Ireland? I don't know the name of this island. Is it, I don't know if it's called Ireland or what. I don't know the proper name, so forgive me. Is it Hibernia? Maybe? I, I don't know. Again, not a world geography student, so be patient with me. You can tell me the right answer. Um, so yeah, we're gonna gonna take care of that down here in Egypt. Seems like we might actually have a pretty big force of enemies in our way. Yeah, I'm, uh, we just got done whipping a bunch of the blimmies at a fort. And let's see, what did we lose? It's just 19, so I don't think we lost anything. Or maybe we lost a unit of Carthaginian infantry. It's hard to say. I mean, these guys took a shellacking. Um, question is whether or not I need to retreat and retrain. Or if I can simply take them. I think I can just take them at this point. So I'm going to go into no stance and um, attack the city. I can actually auto-resolve this. So we will do so. Let's see what we get here. Gonna occupy. I don't know, I lost my elephants there. That's right. We lost my elephants. <laughs> well, we got some more. <laughs> Those elephants, by the way, had a marvelous battle there. It's really quite spectacular, I remember now. Um, it's all coming back to me, folks. Uh, okay, where are we at here? Campaign movement range, that's probably not gonna hurt. Siege weapons, campaign movement range. I'll take more campaign movement range, actually. So we've got... Moreau has some armies out here. I'm not sure why. We're going to go hit Moreau and then Axum. You'll get your own soon. Uh, we need to probably just go ahead and convert this stuff over. Plus two public orders. This one's plus three growth. So this one uses the least amount of food. Rides wealth from farming. Unlocks the recruitment of African elephants. Holy, wait, hang on. What? Noble Axeman of Axum? That's cool. I got some row archers, so it's the same with each of these. It's just this one we get a plus two public order. And probably the best garrison. So let's go with that one. And let's just swap this fish. Uh, we don't need the extra squalor. So I'm going to swap to the trading port. And then we do need a temple here, and I don't need a barracks in this particular province. Um, so we'll go ahead and start swapping all that stuff out. The army at Alexandria, you know what, I mean, I've been just camping out out here, but I mean, honestly, who's really going to be able to come jack us up that quick? Probably no one. So let's start moving it down here to help take Moreau so that my other army can hit Axum, and we can just get this business taken care of down here. Going to be a few turns for them to get where they need to go anyway. And Alexandria can hold its own in terms of public order. Trying to tan it, get that started. Okay, I think we are in good shape. Let's let's go check out up here. So it's, it's winter time up here. Maybe a good time to hunker down and, and keep uh, replenishing some losses. Let's see, what did I lose here? Looks like I'm down a cavalryman. Tiresome mercs here, see what we got. Let's try these uh, Belge heavy lancers. We haven't given them a chance yet, so we'll hire them up. Go ahead and upgrade these guys too while we're at it. Um, let's see, what other armies do I have around here? Oh yeah, that's right, they took Vesontio back. Uh, just, I'm gonna take some winter attrition if I go through the pass right now. So let's just wait. I gave these guys the crossbows and then got some replacements set it up. We can go all the way up to here before we hit attrition, so we'll just go and wait there. We took the Delmate out of the picture, and in five more turns I can start training some Apulian Heavy Infantry, which is going to be really sweet. Let's go ahead and get a temple started there, and we'll just get another Agora going there. At Germania Minor. Let's make sure... Force. So we got all of our forces accounted for here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're good. We got things pretty well settled. We do have some uh, 
upgrades to take care of. Uh, evading enemy agents, not so much concerned. Ooh, even more tax rate. Oh, I can't do it on this turn, unfortunately. We'll do the empire maintenance. That's always a help. And let's see. So this Admiral Himmelkar. Let's see. Income, morale, battle captives, night battles on land and sea. We've already got it. Chance of avoiding agents. Campaign map movement range. When a general, so that's not going to help. Morale for all units. None of these things really seem to be what I would like. I'm just going to make him a jack of all trades. Good at lots of things, but not great at anything. Um, let's see. Yeah, we got some other stuff here, too. So the People's Army up here at Vesontio. Let's see. Do that one, I guess. The general looks like he's got upgrades too, and we've already given him some pretty nice upgrades. Plus two cultural conversion, local province. That's not going to be a bad deal. There we go. And this guy. Wow, extra tax rate, public order from characters, that's awesome. Definitely going to do that. Extra tax rate here too. All right. Like, uh, look at me over here fussing over money like it really matters. I'm making plenty of money. And I have lots of armies. So we're quite good. Your next no, I don't think you need military access. You're good. Leave me alone, fools. All right, cultural assimilation. We finished that. Uh, where was it at reach surge? Where was the cultural assimilation? Was it here? Yeah. So, okay, we can build the libraries now, which is gonna be nice. Hopefully that'll help us maybe speed up some of this research. I really want to get some of the sweet highest echelon units. I've got to do this and then build the royal barracks, which is going to take forever in and of itself. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Got that underway. And let's see. All right, all right, all right. Where's Hannibal at? Let's go up here into... Uh, into Britannia with the Brethren of Baal. This army now has an upgrade too. The veteran does. So he can now impart maximum training to all these troops, so those troops are getting a ton of extra training. And it never hurts to make a guy good at coercing and slaughtering. And we can auto-resolve this as well because we get ladders. I forget it's not Attila, you start with some ladders, so we don't have to siege for a long time, so no sense in not auto-resolving this. We'll take a few more losses than we deserve, but uh, not really worth our time on the battle map, so just go ahead and occupy here and let Hannibal rebuild his troops while we start to uh, kind of convert this city over to our own. I uh, don't think we need a barracks up this far because I won't be back up. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna tear all that down for now. Okay. So everything quite good up here. How's public order? Public order here is quite strong and should only be getting stronger with the completion of some other buildings, so... Let's go ahead and upgrade these farms. Upgrade that port to 520 by 600 wealth. We get minus six public order there, though. That's all these come with that. Right, let's try it. Let's see if we can handle it. I think we can. We got plenty of buildings coming up. Okay, Eplana. Plus, I thought we had an agent up here, too. We do. So, yeah, we should be good. Um, let's see. Uh, Nemetasena. 
So this army is now ready to move forward. We can go ahead and hit the um, the Nervi. I do not look like they're prepared at uh, Bagakum. <laughs> Though they're giving them once again, I think better odds than they deserve. There's a bunch of garrison warriors. Far better odds than they deserve. So we're gonna actually have to fight this one. Let's see if they sally out or if they stay in. They sally out on the field, which means they're gonna really get shellacked, especially if my elephants get a hold of them. I do have some Carthaginian shock cavalry, but to be honest, I just it seems like I find the heavy melee cav to be better in this mod because it doesn't die as quickly after the charge, and since you know you're not really killing stuff as rapidly on the charge, it almost seems like it kind of undoes the usefulness of shock cavalry a little. At least for me, it seems that way. I could be wrong. I haven't played the mod enough to be a definitive uh, source on that yet. I'm gonna put my Balearic Slingers up here, get my Skitari on this flank. I'm actually gonna put my Elephants over here on this flank because they can kind of almost stand uh, stand alone. And I'll support my Skitari with some Carthaginian Noble Cavalry. And then we'll get some lighter cavalry over here to support my elephants. And then my general can stay under center. Enemy is defending. Okay, yeah, they, they get to defend. I'll just move up with my slingers and start peppering them. I don't think their Gallic local slingers can keep up with my Balearics. I think my Balearics will probably outrange them too. So we might be able to force the AI to attack or just to get crapped on here, one of the two. Let's see. I gotta have to watch out because they've put defenses down, so they'll have cow traps and brimstone pits and all that other nonsense. My general's not in firing range, is he? Could be close. Uh, he is not in firing range, so we're good. Did you like how I found out the hard way? It's like, oh, we'll just move him forward, see if he's in firing range. Okay, the AI is actually going to move up a little bit. They're going to end up in my firing range. So I'm going to let my Balearic Slingers open fire and see if we can pull the enemy forward. I feel confident about my Balearic Slingers versus their Gallic Local Slingers. One would hope my Balearic Slingers are up to task. Yeah, they're doing quite well. All of them are getting kills pretty quickly. So, again, hopefully this forces the AI forward into me. This is not really the best position to be fighting from over here. Let's kind of pull this flank back. And we're safe over here. Yep, AI is pulling forward because of the way that I've got my slingers crapping on their own. So, let's pull back. My general's taking a bit of fire here just due to overshots, probably. Got our flank protected. We'll just take the enemy charge. Head on. Okay, so where's the first charge incoming? Right here. Garrison warriors, take them down, take them down, take them down. Same thing here. Oh, get all these guys out of formation attack, please. Uh, let's do that. Let's get over here to support the flanks. And get ready to support the flanks. Slingers off fire at will, take out their own slingers. Start pulling up elephants. And let's uh, battle rhythm all these guys. Second wind all these guys. Inspire. Brace. Probably should have done that before the charge. I'll just give my guys the works here. Into the breach. Whatever. Just take it all. Okay. Need to get some support over here. These guys we have see any caltrops or anything of the sort so let's get these cavalry up here should be able to wipe out those spearmen or ooh, just get my balearics back and we've got this ability to get through here there are a few caltrops brimstone pits shouldn't be the end of the world let's get our elephants into the that mess there let's get back past those brimstone pits Let's get into the back of this fight over here. We just have to watch out for stakes. Okay, those slingers are now gone. There's more. No, okay, I thought those were caltrops. Okay, my elephants are over here wrecking on one of the Nervii elite swordsmen, but they're also going to kill a few of my own troops. We can see them getting some good wreckage in there. 
the Nerbii mainline is mostly defeated at this point. My guys are suffering some effects of the uh, coming down off of the high of all the generals' abilities. Let's uh, take a look at the Carthaginian Noble Cav getting some rear charges here. Shot cavalry, downhill charges into infantry ought to be quite effective. Should break the enemy, I would think. Nearly immediately. It did. So that's good. I lost one elephant. These Nervi Elite Swordsmen are still fighting. Let's come back and hit them in the back with the charge, and then I'll hit these guys in the back with the charge. Here in the center, we've still got a fight going on, too. Let's take our general and uh, run down the enemy Mighty Horse. And then as far as our slingers go, use them to take out the enemy slingers. Okay, that mighty horse got a pretty good charge into the back of my men, but my cavalry are about to get a great charge into the back of these units. Those Belge lancers there are going to lay down that elite Nervii swordsman, which was actually doing a pretty fantastic job in melee. Better than any other troops similar to it. Stay away from stakes. Okay, looks like we've got a general route going all over. Those Nerby High Elite Swordsmen were not breaking easily. They were doing a good job. An impressive unit. My shock cavalry did great there because they got the right kind of rear charges. The Skitari for me are making a great flanking unit. They're not very heavy, so they don't make a good mainline unit, but they seem to do very well on the flanks where the AI tends to put their lighter units. Balearic Slinger is just absolutely cleaning house there. Elephants did a good job for the short time they were in combat. Carthaginian Reform Infantry seems to be a very nice flexible backbone. I don't have to worry about them being in Phalanx, so it does seem like the late Carthaginian Hoplites are more powerful in my mind because of the Hoplite Phalanx. These guys seem to do a good job and uh, don't have to be in a Phalanx, but I mean, again, I do think the late Carthaginian Hoplites end up being more powerful. Occupy there, so pretty quick victory. Switch this over again. I don't think we need a military structure in this province. Let's just get some farms going so we can tear this thing down too. And we'll get stuff rebuilt. We've got the Sontio rebuilding. We were able to go now. We can use these crossbows and we'll retake Korea. None will escape. We cannot pass here. Okie dokie. We took a little bit of winter attrition still going through the pass. But it's not too bad. Let's actually put these crossbows to use here and let's fight this uh, so that you all can get to see them in action. I don't find them to be like as amazing as the crossbows and until, oh my gosh, they're going to sally out. These guys are retarded. They got a bunch of naked guys sallying out against some long range devastating skirmishers here and into a heavy hop light line. So yeah, this is not going to end well. This is my all mercenary army, by the way. Well, I say that. There's some Libby Phoenicians there, but I mean, technically an all mercenary army here. The Libby Phoenicians don't necessarily mean they're Carthaginians, especially not citizens necessarily, it just means that they're Libyans mixed with Phoenician. <laughs> so we'll put my uh, we'll put my Massilian hoplites in their own line there too. Massilian hoplites are pretty cool. Pretty excited to have them in the army. Libby Phoenicians. Uh, what did they take hoplite phalanx off these units? Nah, come on! Did they really do that? Did it change in the latest patch? Because I know all these guys tend to have hop... Maybe they maybe they addressed the hoplite phalanx. If you all know the answer to that, let me know. These uh, sword band are not my favorite, but they'll, they'll get the job done. Let's see what I got. The mercenary Volke horsemen. They are melee cav and... Eh, they're okay. Uh, they're going to be defensive again, which, <laughs> good luck with that. I've got the skirmish advantage by a long shot. Yeah, there's no hoplite phalanx on my on my hoplites anymore. What happened here? Interesting. Is there any difference going into formation attack? Not stat-wise. Okay, well, odd. Makes me wonder what they did with the, uh, the Hoplite Phalanx. Like I said, if you all know the answer to that, let me know. I haven't gone and read the update notes 
on uh, DEI. Probably should, but I don't know exactly where they're at. I mean, I'm into DEI, don't get me wrong, I like it. I'm not into it enough that I'm checking where the update, you know, came in and exactly everything it fixed. Alright, they realize that they're at a disadvantage, so they're going to start moving forward. How about a spear band? Moving forward there. Uh, crossbows. Let's focus fire on some of the mercenary naked cell swords. And let's watch with that. Oh my gosh, yeah, just wrecked that unit there. More crossbow wreckage incoming. Yeah, the crossbows definitely getting some kills. They have wrecked up this unit substantially. I'm going to wreck up another unit while we're at it. They are taking a little bit of fire in return, but nothing too terribly severe. Let's go ahead and pull our general back a little. Let's go ahead and get the crossbows back to safety. The cavalry getting pushed back here by my uh, cell swords javelins. Charge here, block that cavalry charge. Uh, let's see if we can get a downhill charge here. Our men flee the field of battle. This Our men flee the field of battle. Oh, my Volke horseman? Yeah, sure enough, I got charged over here when I wasn't paying attention. Genius. Yeah, let's take these guys and target the Germanic longbows. Intercept there. Get the cell swords up here. Yeah, get up here. Apparently my Volke horsemen were cowards in their heart. Okay, let's see how the mainline engagement's going. Uh, not so good, actually. This Libby Phoenician Hoplite's taking a bit of a beating. Crossbows, they're doing magnificent. Uh, this unit here, though, could potentially get overwhelmed here in a second. Let's get our crossbows retargeted on the next skirmisher unit of interest. Uh, not really a whole lot of skirmisher units that I'm too particularly concerned about at the moment. Okay, got some stuff going here. Just got to hit those guys. We are still taking out this. What, what is this unit coming up here? Gallic tribesmen. Let's pepper them from the flank with a couple of crossbow shots. Yeah, main lines working into our favor now. This unit here is still a bit overwhelmed, but they got the help of the cell swords who are now outflanking, so probably do okay there. As long as the cell swords aren't frontline infantry, they seem to do okay. Uh, let's turn around and target those local slingers. That spear band took a bit of a savaging, so it should be off the battlefield. Let's get over here. Yeah, I'm just going to charge that Gallic tribesman real quick, my general. And then I'm going to move on over into here with another charge. Yeah, the crossbow's doing a pretty spectacular job here. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty pleased with their performance level. So I got my general getting into these units. Hopefully that'll be the end of them. They're gonna take a bit of a flank charge here. And with the rest of their army folding, I would assume that these units are probably going to go ahead and take off the battlefield soon. They are wavering. Garrison warrior, what's here? Helveti spear band. Route. Okay, looks like we got the enemy into a chain route. So, my mercenary army doing okay, except for the, the chickeny Volke cavalry. Well, I mean, I did miss micro them pretty bad. I don't know if I should give them the benefit of the doubt or not. Nonetheless, not real pleased with their performance. Speaking of cavalry, I hope I don't have any running off into the caltrops, which is always a possibility with my level of micromanagement. Get all of our infantry back up here, too. Like heck. Alright. Here comes the, uh, the enemy mighty horse general. I'm going to pepper it with my crossbows. It's well within range. Because the range of my crossbows is massive. Oh! Look at what the crossbows fire. That's a cool looking bolt, by the way. Look at... look. Just look at this screen. <laughs> the outro screen. <laughs> That's a couple of crossbow bolts. Like this one right here to this guy's eye. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Those crossbows, good choice. Patchy approves. Very much. Oh my gosh. Look at the wreckage. Yes, they, they, I would say that they did a good job. 
The Sequani got absolutely crapped on there, and it wasn't because of my infantry per se. Now the Libby Phoenicians doing so good again. Eh, the Massilians held out okay. They didn't take much damage. The Cell Swords here got more kills this time, probably because they weren't acting as a flanking unit. But this one seemed like a larger unit that had. I don't know if that's the same unit that I had trouble with routing when I used it to the main line, but again, probably not a good idea to use them as main line. Those horsemen got torn up on the charge by an enemy cav. Miss Microd. That's called suffering the accidental wrath of Patchy. The Sequani have been destroyed. And we retook our province. I still cannot convert it because I do not have the proper technology. Armored siege units and better siege tactics. Armored siege units, ammunition stores. Okay, so I have to research one of these and then able to do upgrades. Both of which are a little ways out. We'll, we'll convert it eventually. We're not in too big a hurry. That's all the time I have for this episode. I don't really... I mean, I can do a little bit more here on the uh, campaign map, but don't really have a lot of time otherwise. Not enough time for a battle or anything. Let's see, did we tear down? Don't want any patchy factories. Where, let's hit my provinces real quick. It seems like I tore some stuff down and I don't remember where. Got a lot of building upgrades I could take a look at at some point too. Uh, Egypt. I'm gonna wait there because I have a lot of buildings coming online that could affect public order. Magna Grecia. Uh, no reason not to upgrade this building here for sure. Britannia, Cartagena. I love this music. The Rome 1 music is so utterly brilliant. I'm going to put a library down there. Yeah, Neptune. Let's swap out this temple, the Baal Hamun, to actually. Probably better yet, let's swap out this. I don't need the barracks there in Kel Celtic, uh, at least I wouldn't think I do. But I don't even know if we can recruit. I mean, yeah, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Let's tear it down and put a library in its place. Quitania, Viatica. Uh, let's see. Got a decent... Oh, I need silk before I can upgrade those libraries. Crap, I need to get trade going with the east. Let's see. Or I can maybe try and get out and get some silk on my own. I don't know where the nearest silk is to me. Let's hit this overhead map. Region wealth, region growth, public order, diplomatic status, faction ownership. Okay, so we can see on the map, but I can't. Oh, right here, here's some silk up here. Seleucid territory. So theoretically, if I opened up trade with the Seleucids, I could get a hold of Silk now, and then just backstab them later. I can't see the Seleucids, though, to open diplomatic ties with them. Oh well, we'll work on it in the next episode. Air of Carthage, signing off for now. I will see you all back then.